When he opened it, he scanned the contents and could not believe his eyes. That's why Diana had so few photos from their vacation on her phone. Anything she did not want her husband to see, she threw onto the flash drive. His contented wife looked at him from the screen, hugging a strange man in front of the sea. In one photo, they were kissing and Arseny noticed a hickey on her neck. That's why there were no selfies, the man thought bitterly. Diana was ruined by her passion for keeping photos, of course. She deleted unnecessary evidence from the phone, but did not think to hide the flash drive better. That evening Diana went straight from work to meet her friends. One of them had a birthday. They celebrated in a cafe. Arseny, finally convinced that he was right and that his wife really was cheating on him, packed her things in a big suitcase and went to the place where the girlfriends were meeting. The women greeted him with surprised looks, especially when they saw that for some reason he had come with a suitcase. Diana herself was the last to notice Arseny's arrival. She was standing with her back to the entrance, talking enthusiastically to her friend. As he approached her, he finally became disappointed in his wife, who was telling him vividly about their passionate affair during the trip. Will you tell me the details? Arseny said aloud, and his wife finally noticed him. Oh, Senya, what are you doing here? She asked, turning around and fluttering her eyelashes innocently. Don't play the fool. Here are your things, he said, handing her the suitcase. Go wherever you want, but don't come back to me. I don't need a cheating wife, not even for free. He said loudly enough for all the guests to hear. Diana wanted to say something else, but after these words Arseny left the party, leaving the girlfriends to discuss what had just happened and also to decide who Diana would go live with now. Arseny didn't hesitate for a second and quickly filed for divorce. The apartment had been his since before the marriage. It was a pity for the time wasted by the unfaithful wife, but the man took it as a life lesson. Of course, you have to get to know a person's nature better before having a serious relationship, but he managed to do it at least before having children, which in itself was not so bad.